All right, this is real life. I was uh, making, changing my sheets, and it occurred to me, I need to put another video of me doing the, um, the fitness test. So disregard the unmade bed behind me and the pillows on the chair. I just took the sheets off the bed, but I figured I'd do this and post it. It's real. This is real life, okay? Ooh, and those were my knees, thanks to cortisone shots. Don't ever do it. All right. I'm not good at this. Uh, I'm just telling you that now, but um, I'm going to do it because I. you only have to do one a day. Cross your arms over your chest. Cross your legs, the dominant leg over the non-dominant. If you're right-handed, you're right dominant. So cross the right over the left and vice versa if you're left. Okay, go down to crisscross applesauce. Oops, that's my Google. <laughs> Ignore that sound. Okay, so once you get in crisscross applesauce, I just love sitting here if you want to know the truth. It's a great position. Uh, but that's not the finish of it. Go from there to your knees. Come up on your knees, uncross your legs, and actually bend your toes. See how my toes are bent? Because you're going to end up lowering, standing up in the, um, whoa, in the, um, in the deep squat. My legs are too close for me to stand for me to not have my hand forward to balance. But from there, I'm gonna try to get my legs wide enough so I can put, my, oh, there we go. There we go, so deep squat. And then from there, come back up to a standing position. If you do more than one, that is absolutely great. I just finished working out today. Um, and I did, um, I did my, I did my stretch and tone 30 minute workout. It is a great workout, full body workout, and it creates, it just gives me the ability to be limber, and it's it, it's a good part of um, strengthening your muscles as well as resistance, because when you're stretching, when you're doing stretching and toning, you're actually doing resistance, because you're putting pressure on that muscle group, and it is methodically slow, so it does affect the muscle positively and uh, you'll notice if you do stretch and toning you um if you do the same routine over and over again you will notice that you get better at it I do this routine every other day it is Friday so it's Monday Wednesday Friday and then on the opposite and then usually I'll do a 10 minute I'll do 20 to 30 minutes on the treadmill and 10 minutes on the rebounder um, and then on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I will do resistance using weights in my, I'll do a weight routine. It's also a full body uh, strength and tone. There's stretching and tone and there's strengthening and toning. Same thing, resistance is strength and toning. Uh, um, um, a stretch, res stress workout is stretch and tone. They both benefit the body in the same way. Um, and then I will do my 30 minute strength and tone. It's about 20 minutes, really. I'll do 10 minutes on the rebounder and I'll do my 20 to 30 minutes on the treadmill. Not in that order, it's treadmill then rebounder. I try to do the rebounder last because sometimes I'll do 30 minutes. Uh, there are strength there are strength workouts that I can do on the rebounder in place of the treadmill. But uh, I like to read my Bible on my treadmill. And um, I read my Bible on my phone. I highlight on my phone. I have set up on my treadmill a, um, a, a holster for my, for my phone. So I'm just, walking is the biggest no-brainer thing you can do. And I do like walking outside. But I really, I, I find it hard to walk if I'm not reading my Bible. If I'm on my treadmill, I need the Word of God with me <laughs> because it's boring otherwise. And because it's such a no-brainer walking on my treadmill, it's such a joy to read my Bible on that treadmill. And the funny thing is, my phone, I have a Samsung, I have an old Samsung Note 8, but I can highlight using the U, the U version app. I only read the King James Version Bible on there because some of the other translations have been compromised. 
by Zondervan Publishing House, which is now the owner of certain translations, NIV, uh, and some others. I can't, I can't remember the others, but NIV in particular. I do not read that version, that translation. But um, when I'm using my phone, not only do I have the ability within the app to highlight but I have a virtual assistant in my phone called Bixby that I could actually do audible notes in the app, uh, in the Uversion app saved on my phone. So I could actually type, but using my voice commands to do it. So walking on my treadmill and having the word of God with me just really blesses me. Um, and I read while I'm... I walk 30 minutes. It really, and I'm, I'm actually, I listen to the Bible being read and read along with it. That's why it's important for me to see the word because I like to highlight and I like to make notes. Um, and I'll pause and do those things on the phone. Um, it, it really, let me tell you what I read. I read one to two chapters in the New Testament. Um, up to four chapters in the Old Testament. Well, let me read, let me do it in order. Let me tell you what I read today. I read um, uh, 1 Samuel 24 to 27 first. And then I read in the New Testament, um, Acts, oh, let me, I don't need to, I don't even, I don't need to be, I just finished. So the fact that I can't remember I do remember. I think it's Acts 17. <laughs> now can I see it? Okay. 1 Samuel 24 to 27 in the Old Testament. And then um, Acts 17 in the New Testament. And I read a proverb a day. Even though my plan also has me reading proverbs in order, in the order of this plan, I read proverbs every day, every day. Every time I read my Bible, I read the book of Proverbs and the chapter matches the day of the month. Today is the 4th of October. So I read Proverbs chapter four today, this morning. So that's, that is how, when I'm, when I use my treadmill, I read the Bible. If I, if I am on, if I do my, um, rebounder 30 minutes, I won't get on the treadmill. Uh, I will first of all, read my Bible first thing in the morning. Um, and I'll read it downstairs. Um, I'll read one of my hard copies. So, um, and, um, the inspired Bible, that's what I like to use when I'm doing my Bible studies. I'm about to do a new method. I'm about to do the James method of Bible memorization. Um, of, no, not Bible. It, it's, it does have a memorization component, but the James method is, um, just Bible study, Bible verse study. And uh, I, what I'd like to do, I wanted to do it last year. I did not do it. I want to memorize a book in the Bible, one book to start. And the book of James, the, um, is it James 1, was the one I was working on last year. And then I got distracted and did not complete that task. But I'm going to go back to that because I want to, I want to have to, I want to be able to recite. I want to get to recite an entire chapter from scripture, from the first scripture to the end. And I think James has 25 scriptures in it. Let me check. I can, I can tell you that now. Let me see. So the, the first chapter, James chapter one, let's see if I can find it on here. Uh, this, my Bible, my Bible sheet, yearly Bible reading plan in biblical event order. It's in the event order. So it's really great. I read first. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Well, this yesterday when I read, um, first, when I read first Samuel, it was, um, it was kind of cool. I read the, 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 the instructions were to read a chapter in first Samuel and then two chapters in Psalms. Uh, first Samuel is where David is running from Saul and, uh, you know, he, he could, he had two opportunities in 24 through 20 in book in chapter 23 of first Samuel, David had an opportunity to kill Saul. Uh, and, uh, 
Saul, he was really, literally, Saul was standing and David was right there. It was nighttime. David and one of his mighty men were right there at his, at Saul's feet. And David cut his robe, cut the bottom of his robe. And then when Saul got far enough away across to the other side, he yelled to him and said, Hey, um, look, who am I to, 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 to mess with God's anointing? I was close enough to kill you, man. Check the bottom of your robe and see where I've torn the corner off. And Saul checked and was, was repentive and said, my son, he always calls David's son when he's, when he's repenting or when he's convicted in his heart. So he told him, my son, I'm, I was wrong, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to come after your life. Uh, go, come, come back. David decided to go off, of course, and Saul went home. By the time we got to chapter 24, which is the next chapter, here we go. Saul is uh, at it again. So this time, uh, the Lord made a deep sleep fall on Saul and all the men in his camp. And David and his mighty man, I can't think of his name, went into the camp. And they were, you know, they were they were looking at everybody. Ab 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 Abiathar, uh, Saul's mighty men his power, most powerful soldier was right there next to him. Both of them sleep and all the others were asleep because the Lord said, I mean, the Bible says that the, a, a deep sleep was put on them and David took Saul's sword and uh, I think his, his sword and one or two other things. And then of course, the next morning he's, he wakes up they wake up and he said, hey, see, I had a chance to kill you again and I didn't. And Saul repents again and repents again and says, my son, David, blah, 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 blah. This man is just ridiculous. So anyway, that's what I do. That is how I, uh, uh, that's my lifestyle. I start early in the morning. Um, sometimes I'm, I'm, uh, doing, I'm doing research before I even get to get on my, uh, work, workout. But um, by by eight o'clock, I'm done. Some most of the time before seven thirty, I'm done. Seven o'clock is when I like to be done. But if I'm done by eight, I'm good because the rest of my day has more routines and uh, you know things that I do to keep my house in order and to keep my house clean. This bed is one of the first things that I do, making the bed when I come back because. My husband's in bed when I start my workout. I make it up when I get back. And today is Friday, which is changing sheets day. So that is what that's what I'm about to do. That's why the pillows are on the tote on the chair. And uh the bed only has the um um the mattress cover on it. So anyway, that is it. It's a great day. When you start with the word, and I love to start with the word. I'm worshiping. I worship the Lord when I'm doing my workout uh, because most of, I don't do workouts with music that has words intentionally. I use, I like videos uh, because it's easier for me. Um, I don't want to think about it. I've got my routines. When I do my resistance workout, I've got a routine on the wall that I made up. But honestly, I like doing it with videos that have just uh, background music. I don't like words. Because I only, the only words I want to worship, the only words I want when I'm uh, doing anything is worship to the Lord. So I use uh, videos with instrumental and I've been using at least one of these women. I've been doing her workouts for at least a year, maybe two. And she's really good. Her, the soundtrack is beautiful. It's just quiet, peaceful. And um, my stretching has gotten so much better. And I do have a resistance workout with weights that has music. It is a full body resistance, kind of like Pilates, but it has weights with it. And I add weights. I change weight. The, um, the instructor in the video does not. But because I want to do more weights, I do. I change weights depending on what we're doing in the videos. And it's great. I love both of those workouts. And even my... Um, 10 minute, 15 minute, and 30 minute rebounding eye jump instead workouts are using videos. Um, and the, 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 the two girls are twins. Her, their, their website is called I Jump Instead, and that's what they use on YouTube. I have a playlist 
for my workouts. Every workout I do is on my playlist. That way I don't have to be concerned about um, commercials and getting interrupted. Uh, and I put my phone on Do Not Disturb when I work out because I don't like being interrupted at all when I work out. So uh, that's how I roll. I want it to be a no-brainer. I don't want to have to think about it. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to use my brain to think about what I'm going to do. I already know what I'm going to do because it's every other day, six days a week, Monday through Saturday, and the workouts are already planned. And when I get bored, I've got other workouts. I've got about 30 workouts on my playlist. And if I get bored with one, I will do another, whether it's resistance or stretch and tone. So there you have it. that. I look bald because I got my gray hair. My gray hair does not look like hair. So um, look at my... <laughs> It is real. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. That's why you see my pillows at the bottom of my bed, because I haven't made the bed up yet, and pillows here. We're going to get that right after I get off of this video. So, but that's it. I hope you guys are doing your um, fitness test. If you are, please chime in at the bottom of this post and every post. I'm going to do videos weekly. I'm not going to do them every day because I'm not doing a good job at that. It's Life is wonderful in a homeschooler, in the house of a homeschooler who's a 12th grade grader. It's a wonderful life. So um, every Friday is when I'm going to do these videos. I will not be videotaping on Monday through Thursday because I just don't. I've got so many wonderful scheduled routines to do during the week that um, it's I need grace. So I'm taking grace, and I'm only doing it on Fridays. Uh, that's it. All right. Y'all be blessed. Have a great day. Chime below if you're doing your, um, your fitness test. If you want to put a video on, that sounds great. If you're doing it, modifying it, that's also great. The goal is to do something. That's why I do these videos. I want to encourage you all to move. God dropped in my spirit this morning uh, the words, um, do you remember when the saints of old lived 900 years, 500 years, 230 years, 195 years? Well, guess what? We've been given 120 promised. That's if we take care of our bodies. It really is up to us whether we take the Lord up on that offer to live 120 years. Unless, of course, he returns. I'm looking forward to being out of here when the Lord returns because I'm sojourning here. This is not my home. <laughs> it's just a place I, this is a place where I occupy until he returns because that's what he said to do. So um, put your videos Put your videos on. Let me know that you're doing it. Let me know that you're doing something, even if it's not this. Post that you're doing something for the vessel of the Holy Spirit that God has given you. If you take care of that vessel, it will do its best for you. Your immune system is amazing. If you work out and eat right, you could actually kill everything that attacks you, including cancer. That C word is not big or bad. It's just been made to be big and bad because it brings money to a certain arena in the world system. There is a cure for every disease that has ever existed and that will show up. I mean, anything that could show up, there is a cure. It just doesn't have anything to do with the drugs. That's maintenance. That's not cure. Who wants to maintain by being on drugs the rest of their life. I don't. I won't. In Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom.